Is concealing pre-existing illness a bar to seafarers claims? SC ruling shocks maritime law. Learn it here in the decision entitled Lou B. Musha v. C.F. Sharp Crew MGT. INC, Norwegian Cruise Lines, M. V. Norwegian Jade, and Juan Jose Page Rocha. GR No. 242928, June 27, 2022. This is case 23 of 160 cases penned by Associate Justice Mario Lopez, Bar Chairperson of the 2024 Philippine Bar Exam. Subscribe for more. Facts of the case Lou Musha was hired as an assistant cook on the M.V. Norwegian Jade in September 2013. During his pre-employment medical examination, PEME, he did not disclose any previous medical conditions, including ear trouble or deafness. However, he was later diagnosed with mild hearing loss bilateral. During his employment, Musha experienced several accidents leading to back pain and vision problems. He was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, among other conditions, after being repatriated for medical treatment. Musha filed a complaint for permanent total disability benefits, which was initially granted by the Labor Arbiter but reversed by the National Labor Relations Commission, NLRC, and the Court of Appeals. The appellate court upheld that non-disclosure of any pre-existing condition, regardless of its relation to the current disability, bars a seafarer from claiming benefits under Section 20 e of the 2010 POEA SEC. Legal issue Whether a seafarer, who conceals a pre-existing illness, can still claim disability benefits for a condition unrelated to the concealed illness, under Section 20, E, of the 2010 Philippine Overseas Employment Administration Standard Employment Contract, POEA SEC. Supreme Court's Decision The Supreme Court ruled in favor of Musha, holding that Section 20, E, of the 2010 POEA SEC should not be applied unconditionally to bar disability claims arising from concealed prior illnesses unrelated to the seafarer's present medical condition. The court found that Musha's prior ear illness was unrelated to his current medical conditions and that there was no fraudulent concealment on his part. Therefore, Musha was entitled to permanent total disability benefits. Important doctrines 1. Limitation of Section 20, E. POEA SEC. This provision bars claims for disability benefits due to the intentional concealment of pre existing illnesses but is limited to disabilities resulting from the concealed illness. 2. Relevance of pre existing condition. A pre existing condition must have a causal or reasonable connection to the current disability claim to disqualify a seafarer from benefits. 3. Fraudulent concealment. For the concealment of a pre existing illness to bar a disability claim, it must be fraudulent, i.e., deliberate and for a malicious purpose, coupled with an intent to deceive and profit from the deception. 4. Employer's Responsibility. Employers are liable for work-related injuries or illnesses, and provisions in the POEA SEC should be interpreted liberally in favor of seafarers. 5. Definition of Permanent Total Disability. The court reiterated the rules governing a seafarer's claim for permanent total disability benefits and the period for issuing a final medical assessment.